What up YouTube? Today I have another fuse video. I haven't done one of those in quite a while so now is a good time because Keith. Now I'm gonna butcher your last name. It's either Tuki, 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 Tusi, Tusiki, Tuki. Tuki, Tiki. Keith from the DIY Powerwall Facebook page. I'm just gonna go with Keith. He sent me some 40 aug wire to test out, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's open it up. But first, let me show you his address. Now, it, there, it feels like something else is in there. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to cut yet. So I'm gonna cut right along his address right over here. Oh look, he sent me a little sample pack. Holy crap, dude, thanks. Now, you know, you're the first one that has sent me a little something extra. I'm gonna take it as a tip. You're the first one that has actually sent me a tip. You're awesome, man, thanks. This is awesome, I appreciate it. I'm gonna use them straight away. Well, before I get to the wire, I'm gonna take a look at this. I know he um, sells this on the Facebook page and the DIYpowerwalls.com, but I got two whites, two blacks, two reds, two blues, and two greens. This is awesome, man. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna measure your uh, distance here real quick. How about we do that? For everyone that wants to know the specifications of this heat shrink, I'll give you the dimensions. It's roughly 71.53 millimeters. It's the perfect size. That's pretty much what I was using to cut my own whenever I had the 16 meter rolls or whatever. I think I bought that before he was selling this. Otherwise, I would have bought it from Keith. Awesome, man. Per thanks. I appreciate that a crap ton. I don't want to lose those okay now for the L wire here this is 40 aug wire which I have not tested yet we will see what it is in millimeters real quick this is tiny very very tiny all right so this wire measures in at 0 0.07 millimeters holy crap that's tiny all right I will solder this up to a couple of um, bus bars and then we'll get to the testing holy crap is that stuff tiny i mean that's probably the hardest wire to solder only because i'm trying to solder it to one piece and the other side kind of hangs out you know a little bit but oh my god that is like tougher than shit to solder okay um this wire is actually really really tricky because it is enamel coated so you kind of have to burn that off in order to get a good connection this is probably attempt number six to get it all working correctly so this first test will be on the 14 gauge twisted pair i do have the extra meter in here for voltage drop and the gap is set to 10 millimeters and it is kind of curved in a upward fashion yeah I guess we will see what happens um, there is another guy that did leave a comment that this is not scientific or anything like that and he is correct this is just a ballpark test and uh, it'll give you just an idea of what a specific wire will pop at and of course on my load over here off to the right it will be a little jumpy at times and it might drop off and then pop back on because I'm moving it around so much. Okay, let's get the test rolling. Corn tech. saw it and it was just below four amps okay next test is the exact same 10 millimeter gap and we're using the 5 volt rail corn tack
Okay, next test is of the same twisted pair. The only thing different this time is the gap is smaller at five millimeters and we're on a three volt rail. And I'm gonna start it up just a little bit further, probably around the two amps and then we'll go from there. Horn talk. Okay, this next test is going to be an extremely up close view and everything is the exact same. We are on the 12 gauge twisted pair, 5 millimeter gap and 3 volt rail. And I'm going to try to hold it at around 3 amps. Kawarntak. Okay, this next test is going to be another close-up and this will be a 10 millimeter gap. We are still on the 3 volt rail and I'll try to hold it around 3 amps if I can. first half was 3 amps and then I moved it up to 3.5 and once the wire started glowing then went down to 3.25 amps. Alright so all of you that have not seen the previous fuse testing videos this is my fuse tester fuse tester. I'm using a computer power supply and the orange is the 3.3 volts and it goes through a shunt right here and that will give us our amps that are going through the load. This is I'm just creating a load over here resistant load. Um, after it goes through there it goes through one end of my resistance wire here and I just drag typically a nail down each each end here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, fuse wire in here real quick. Alright, the first thing I usually do is try to set the gap here. I usually will clear this out, hit the millimeter button, and I try to make them all 10 millimeters because that seems to be a pretty good testing distance. Alright, so there's 10 millimeters on here. Okay, that is a 10 millimeter gap right there. This is just to hold it, and then here's my ground to complete the circuit. I do usually like to bend it in the upwards fashion if I can. And this meter right here will be for the voltage drop across that fuse. It might be just a little bit off because I am clamping to the clamp there on that side and then on this side I just get as close as I can to the actual fuse. Okay so now that everything's in view obviously you won't be able to see these very well but I can at least read it off and I'll usually put it in the bottom corner right about here. Okay so I will turn the power supply on. Horn tech. And we are on the 3 volt rail right now. Um, our amperage is just over three it's about three and a quarter the volts that are running through it right now is at three and our voltage drop is 273 millivolts and typically I have this nail and I run it up and down this to find out exactly where it pops at so I'm just gonna go ahead and move this clamp up just a little bit that is exactly four amps and it popped all right, Keith, I hope that test was to your satisfaction. And if anybody else has a problem with this testing, I know it's not scientific and I don't write anything down. 
I'm just trying to do the actual test. I have to go back through the video to find out what the numbers are. So that's why I usually don't write anything down. I think there was probably at least one wire that was right around four amps. I don't remember if that was a three or five volt rail, but the video will tell me. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help me out and donate, I am trying to get a charge controller. If you want to donate, you can donate with the paper PayPal or Patreon links below. Make sure you check out some of the links down below. Those are the affiliate links of Amazon or PayPal of stuff that I have used and or bought. I'll also put a link down below for Keith's heat shrink. I think he's got quite a variety of different ways to purchase it in a small sample pack or hundreds of the same color. I know he's got some new colors coming out so make sure you check out those links and we'll see you on the next one. It is 3.10 a.m., so I should probably go to bed. I'm starting to get into that weird, tired stage. HP Powerwall's live now? What the fuck, dude? He is live now. And that's like the cheap... Right? And, finally, he's live, and I'm awake, and I'm on it. Check it out. What's up, Average Joe? <laughs> gotcha. The 18615Ts going awesome with your channel mate it really your quality of videos is awesome i love them very entertaining i tried to be entertaining but i'm not very entertaining all right there you go people we'll see you on the next one i almost forgot we have one more thing to do one one more one more thing the heat shrink i mean it's already cut up i've got uh one two three four five six seven eight cells that need new heat shrink Oh my god, these are so good. Mmm, mm, my god, so good. Like I could eat the whole box. Mmm, mmm. I'm eating it all right now. Mmm, so good. Okay, now back to, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, heat shrink. So, what I'm gonna do first is write down the milliamps on the new ones, and then I will transfer it over. I gotta go with the Rasta colors here. I think those are Rasta colors. I just need a yellow. I think I just, yeah, I just need yellow. So these are partially Rasta. Do they even make white markers? Nice, perfect, straight cuts, too. Good job, Keith. Hmm, the red one seems a little bit tighter fit, by the way. That's kind of nice. I like that. I bet if I look really hard, I could find two more 18650s for those. I found uh, just two blue ones since all those were blue. I might as well just uh, do those. Let's see if I can write it in black. Yeah, you can see it. Can you see that? Thought so. Boom. I don't really know why I say that, but boom.
So your heat shrink is pretty nice. My favorite probably is the red. It's a little snugger of a fit and that's kind of nice. The length is perfect because you get just just enough on the bottom and just enough on the top. If I need more of the heat shrink, I am definitely gonna buy it from you, but I will probably get the pink if you got it. I don't know what's with the pink, but most of my cells are pink, so why not go with pink, right? Um, need something to look. Uh, I need to do manual focus on this so you don't go walking around looking for a different spot to focus on. Holy moly. Roly poly. Mary had a little lamb. And that lamb's name? Guess. Guess what? Keith. Lamb's name was Keith. Um, 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 um. Okay, next test. I made the gap to five a millimeter. Corn check. Alright, so for all of you that are. are uh, and it's not 100% accurate because. And there's the beeping. No, no, no. No, no. To try to make the. Um, and uh, heat heat shrink. Uh, I don't know. Holy crap! Is that wire? Is there something on my camera lens? No. What the hell is that? A hair? Probably a cat hair. The heat. The cells go marching two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! Fuck no! I'm not recording. Did we get all that? I don't know. Cut. Gotta fix that one real quick. Hold please. All right, action. Hopefully I got all that.